The patient was a 20-year-old female with multiple metastatic lesions from sarcoma in both lungs. Lesions in the right lung were found in the periphery of the right upper, middle, and lower lobes. Lesions in the left lung were located in the upper and lower lobes, close to the periphery. The patient was considered an ideal candidate for an in vivo lung perfusion procedure, which is a treatment for microscopic presence of cancer in the lung. IVLP can be done on either side. In this case, it will be demonstrated on the left lung. In vivo lung perfusion is a surgical technique to isolate a lung from systemic circulation by bypassing the blood supply of the lung. IVLP allows the delivery of a high dose of chemotherapy to targeted organs without systemic exposure and detrimental side effects. Lesions in the right lung are resected, and the left lung is deflated to expose the hilum. The left main bronchus, left pulmonary artery, and left pulmonary veins are exposed. After administration of heparin, the left pulmonary artery is cannulated. Right angle cannulas are inserted in the lower and upper left pulmonary veins. Before IVLP is initiated, Inflow is interrupted by tightening a tourniquet clamp on the proximal left pulmonary artery, and the left pulmonary veins are interrupted by inserting a vascular clamp beyond the vein cannulation to isolate the left lung from systemic circulation. The left lung will be ventilated during the perfusion time. The in vivo lung perfusion system works by administering chemotherapy to affected lung tissue through the pulmonary blood inflow. Collected blood treated with a high content of chemotherapy, referred to as perfusit, circulates through the lung tissue and is drained by the upper and lower left pulmonary veins. After leaving the left lung, blood is collected in a hard shell reservoir. The chemotherapy is administered at this point. Flow is then directed to a centrifugal pump, which drives the flow to a membrane gas exchanger, where a gas combination is added to deoxygenate the perfusate and provide CO2 for the inflow. The membrane gas exchanger is connected to a heater cooler to keep perfusate warm. Perfusate then passes a leukocyte filter and returns to the left pulmonary artery. After three hours of IVLP, a washout is performed through the pulmonary artery in an anterograde fashion, with the cannula still attached. The circuit is disconnected from the chemo and connected to a bag of Perfidex to flush the lung in one pass, and one liter drains back to the reservoir. Air must be removed from the circuit. The pulmonary artery tourniquet is opened gradually to de-air the lung through pulmonary vein open sites. The cannulas are removed and the sites repaired. All clamps are opened and removed, and wedge resections are performed on the left lung. The lungs are reperfused and reventilated, and the procedure is complete.